Hey everybody, Max Multi 1516 here, back again with another Thomas Wooden Railway review. So today we'll be taking a look at Sir Handel. So let's go ahead and get into it. Sir Handel was first introduced into the TWR range in 1997, but the earliest example I have of a Sir Handel model is from 2000. So this Sir Handel is actually very nice. The face I think is pretty good. It's not the best representation, but neither were half the other old style faces. So as you can see here, this Sir Handel model, it had a lot of edge wear, and when I this I got this when I was relatively young. I got it probably six years ago, five years ago. But yeah, um it's kind of like in my the later stages of my childhood. So when I got it, I had edge wear, but uh, what I did was I just kinda of painted it over. You can actually almost barely tell that. I mean, from first glance it doesn't really look like anything's different. So, um uh the proportions are not the best. Um, with the narrow gauge engines, I don't really know why. I guess they tried to make them smaller, but it didn't really work. And it just makes Sir Handel look very, very slim, which he isn't. And yeah, again, very simplistic detail here. He's got the back ledge, whatever that's called. Um, back, nothing on the back. And then he's got the number three cab detail here and nameplate there. So this Sir Handel is simplistic, but if you're going for a simplistic style, and if you like classic wooden railway, then I say go ahead and pick up this Sir Handel. It is a really good model, in my opinion, and it serves its purpose well. So, that's Sir Handel. So, that Sir Handel was sold until 2003, when he was discontinued, and then from then on, you could only get him in the Ice Cream Factory set. Then, in 2008, Sir Handel was reintroduced as a limited edition model, and this is the 2008 version. So, um, this Sir Handel, again, this was my childhood Sir Handel. I had this from when I was really young. I gave it a white foot plate as well. If you saw my previous review on Scarloe, then yeah. Luckily, uh, I was actually able to scrape a lot of the white foot plate off without damaging too much of the paint on the model. I also repainted, I also like painted the inside of the mouth. I don't really understand why I did, but I did. It doesn't look too bad, but this Sir Handel is definitely based off of his um, new series appearance. Because that face is almost identical to the new series face. So this Sir Handel, right off the bat, is a lot more proportional than... Um, the previous one. I really like this model of Sir Handel. I think it serves its purpose quite well. And, um, yeah. So the boiler here, of course, it's a lot thicker and, like, um, more proportionally shaped. You can see he's got the wheel arch detail in there on both sides. He's got, uh, all this detail here, which I really like because they put more detail onto their limited edition models. So Sir Handel was only sold from 2007 to 2008, so nearly a year. And, yeah. So this Sir Handel is pretty nice in my opinion, I like it, um, but it's not the best, it's still lacking quite a bit of detail, but overall, I mean, for what it's worth, this Sir Handel is pretty good. I definitely like it mainly because of the proportions, more than the original, but um, yeah, so there's it. that's the 2008 Sir Handel. Also, one thing with mine is that it's a factory error. Uh, I don't really know if you can tell just by looking at the side, but if I put it down on the track here, let me... Let me just um, get the track here and move the tripod. As you can see, he rocks back and forth. Um, the middle wheel is placed lower than the other two. I've never seen this on any other Sir Handel model, so I assume this is a factory error. I don't know why or how it happened, but that always really bugged me as a kid, and I've never really... That's been a huge inconvenience to me, at least. I, I, don't, I don't know. It just makes me very uncomfortable. So there's that. And then finally, we'll be taking a look at... The newest addition to my TWR collection, the Tommy Sir Handel. Now, this Sir Handel is near perfect. This Sir Handel is honestly really good. It's definitely not the best example of Tommy's detail. Um, for that, I say look at Rusty or Peter Sam. But this Sir Handel is the best of the three, in my opinion. So first off, you can see. Now, some I know some people are not a fan of the CGI face. I'm I'm kind of split on it. But um, whether you like the CGI face or not, it definitely... Um, that's a very great representation of it right there. So again, he uses the same build type, or I guess wood, like carving, as the 2008 version, but he's got much more, the detail is much more crisp, as you can see here. He's got handrail, nameplate, um, he's got some pi golden pipes here. The wheel arches are much smaller on this model. You can see he's actually got piston detail, and right there you can even see a cylinder. He's got handrails on either side of his cab. He's got buffer beams, red buffer beams on both ends, which is something that TWR almost never has. Uh, one thing I'm not really too sure about is that why they didn't put cab windows on, on the back or the front. Because usually, all the other Tomy narrow gauge engines have back, de back detail, but Sir Handel does it for some reason. 
and not really sure why, but this sword handle definitely um, out outplays the other two, in my opinion at least. So yeah, overall those are the three sword handles of the TWR, and I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Max Multi 1516 signing out.